Hey guys, um, welcome to today's vlog. I don't really have much planned, but I thought I would just talk to you guys and of course show you um, little Porter. He is five days old today. Let me show you, he's snoozing on my lap. Here's little Porter, he's snoozing away. He just ate. He loves eating and he loves sleeping. I think you forget how much they sleep when they're first born. We are adjusting to a life as a family of four now, um, trying to get into a routine where we have a toddler and a newborn. Anthony is helping me out a ton. He gets up every morning with Grayson at 7.30 in the morning when he wakes up. Um, at least for these next two weeks while he's off of work. Once he goes back to work, it's going to be a struggle. Um, and I'm just kind of in charge of Porter and I take care of him and I feed him and make sure he's all good to go. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Um, I had to stop filming because Anthony's parents were over, but I wanted to continue my conversation. Um, before I get back into that, we gave Porter his first bath at home today, so I'll input some of those videos here. <laughs> better now and it's good timing because we're gonna get his newborn pictures done on Tuesday I'm so excited for those but anyway he is um, breastfeeding right now so I won't show you him <laughs> but I just wanted to um, continue what I was saying yesterday which is um, I have started to feel a little sad here and there which is actually pretty good because with Grayson I was feeling sad like the day he was born and in the hospital and I was bawling on the way home and we left the hospital and then like every night for a couple weeks I was just super sad and with this baby I'm actually feeling pretty good yesterday I was feeling a little sad um for a little bit just sad like I don't want time to move on I don't want Porter to get bigger I feel bad like I'm not giving Grayson all the attention that he needs because I'm with the baby and Anthony is doing a lot of his stuff right now because I can't lift him. So um, he's like bonding more with Anthony right now and not so much with me. And so it was just, I was having a down moment yesterday, but I'm feeling better today. Um, Anthony's been a super huge help, you guys. I am so lucky to have him. He has taken Grayson on 100% while I focus on Porter while he's off of work. He's upstairs right now putting him to bed, reading him a story, and brushing his teeth, and I am just so thankful to have his help. He, um, every morning he gets up with Gray at 7.30 when Grayson wakes up, and he lets me sleep in since I'm up all night with the baby. I know this can't continue once he starts work. He's got about another week left of paternity leave, um, but it's just been so nice to have him help me. Um, so I can just get acclimated to having two kids now instead of just one. It's a little overwhelming and I'm the type of person where I really don't like change. Um, I like 
my routine and when that's disrupted I'm like very sad about it I guess you could say um and so I think that is hard on me right now is just trying to get into the groove and trying to figure out like okay how am I gonna go day to day with two kids now um and so it's really nice that Anthony has been helping out so I can just ease into that it'll be hard once he goes back to work but he will be working from home for a while so at least I'll still have him here just to know I have moral support not that he can really do much um so Everything's been going great so far. Porter is feeding really well. Nights are a little tough, but they always are in the beginning. Like all babies, I think he has his days and nights mixed up because he sleeps pretty good during the day, but at night, he's kind of a party animal. Um, The second night, I think the second, oh, maybe it was the third night home. It was really, really rough. Um, He was up from 12 to three um cluster feeding and then I got like three hours of sleep and then he was like up the rest of the night so I don't know if me being sad is the hormones or the lack of sleep or a combination but that's been really hard we've been trying to keep Porter up every night from seven to nine um just to like have a little awake time and then send him into sleep mode um some nights it works better than others so we're working on it but it's hard you know adjusting to life with a newborn but it's sad because I just I don't want him to get bigger I just love him this little but I know he has to get bigger and and there's things to look forward to like I can't wait to see him to start to interact with Grayson once he starts getting more aware of his surroundings and more mobile and Grayson really could care less about Porter right now. Um, I'll sh input a video of them meeting for the first time. Hi. Look, there's Aunt Curly. There's Mama. Hi, Gray. Hi, Curly. 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 Cur Grayson was, I mean, he paid attention to him for all of like five seconds, then he was over it, which is basically how I thought it was going to go. So um, he likes to poke the baby here and there, but other than that, it's Grayson's world and we're just living in it. So Grayson just does his own thing and kind of ignores Porter for the most part. I did have Porter give Grayson a little like gift like hey hey big brother like here's a gift for you um and so it was a couple books and like these eggs that have shapes and stuff in them um and Grayson loved them but I don't think he really understood that they were from the baby because he's only two I mean he'll be two and a half next month so it's kind of hard to get some of these concepts to Grayson I think he still has not quite understood like this is my brother. He's going to be here forever. I think he's just like, oh, this is temporary. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be interesting to see as they grow up. But it is hard because I just, they only, babies only stay little for so long. Then they get big and you just never get that newborn time back until the next baby. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to enjoy each day during the day like I just need to take each day as it comes instead of just dreading things or looking like wanting things to be over like I just need to enjoy the moment so that's what I'm working on with this um newborn and two-year-old 
But yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know how I'm doing. I'm actually recovering awesomely from um, the labor and delivery. I'm hardly bleeding at all, uh, TMI, but it's true. I didn't tear, so I don't have stitches or anything. And so I like it feels great down there. And um, the only thing that's really bugging me is just my boobs are quite sore from breastfeeding and my milk has come in. So that's been, a, you know, not the best feeling. And also I'm just exhausted, <laughs> which is to be expected. But other than that, I've been feeling actually really, really good. So it's like night and day from my first, from my first postpartum to this one. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know how things are going and I'll talk to you guys later.